it's Sam Pam again, and today I'm going to be talking about the latest uh, update to the teaser site and a little bit about the trailer. Um, we know we're going to be getting a uh, sacrifice this week from the PC Gamer stuff. Um, though there was an earlier interview I haven't been able to catch. If anyone has a link to that, I would love it. I would love it. I would love to see it. I want to know what the entire interview was like. Um, all I saw was the couple of minutes that uh, Rebecca Ford was able to uh, post up on Twitter. But I haven't been able to see the whole thing. So if you have the whole thing and if anything was uh, mentioned there, if any, if any more information was given to us, I'd love to know. I just cannot... Uh, find it myself. I haven't been able to. Alright, so we're going to talk about the Sacrifice uh, Umbra and uh, all of the cosmetic stuff we'll be getting. There's a lot of stuff in the pipeline for us, which is awesome. So, the trailer we have, I'm sure you've seen it, but I'll be uh, including a link. What I want to talk about more than anything uh, we can see that Excalibur is angry, we can see he's frustrated, uh, and Ballas is taunting him, but what is up with Ballas's voice? He doesn't really sound like Ballas. He sounds like if Ballas were being controlled by or taken over by something else. He sounds... Kind of like Hunhelm talking through Ballas. Um, and that might be crazy, but on the original teaser site, one of the words in the background was sentient, so it may not be that far off. There may be something there. Of course, I'm sure DE is going to throw us a curveball, and any guesses we have are wrong. Um, but that's the big thing I want to talk about with Ballas, is just what is up with his voice? What do you guys think about, about his voice? The Umbra Excalibur looks awesome. I'm not going to lie. It looks great. That scarf, though. I'm wondering if that scarf is going to be like a separate Sandana or something that everyone can use. Because that thing is awesome. It's baller. Overall, he looks great. Lots of flowy cloth gold trimming and stuff. I think uh, people who already like the prime aesthetic are probably going to like this. I just wonder if it's a skin or if it's going to be a new type of Warframe and we're going to get umbras of all of them. Or is, is it just going to be a new type of skin that we get for all of them? Like we have the deluxe skins, is this going to be something else? more in-game stuff we're gonna get is some Umbra Prime armor which looks good it definitely matches the Umbra aesthetic for the uh, Excalibur that we've seen and it's a way to bring that aesthetic to all of the other frames as well so definitely something that I'm gonna be going after I don't know how many frames I'll use it on um, I'll have to see who it works on but I like how it looks. I think I think it looks great. So I'm excited. More than the Umbra armor for the Warframes though, I'm excited about the Umbra armor and the little scarves for the Kavat and Kubro. I just, they're awesome. I love it. Yes, yes, yes to armor for Kavats and Kubras. Just, it's, it's awesome. I love it. I want more. <laughs> They look great. They look great. You'll be able to make sure that your Kavat and, and or Kubro match your Warframe. Just love it. Um, though right now until they do Pets 2.0 or whatever, my Kavat is really just decoration for my ship. It can be even prettier decoration for my ship. We'll see. Uh, we've got some Operator. Uh, stuff as well. 
I don't know if there's going to be more than just the headpieces, but we do have some new headpieces. A blindfold, some earrings, a hood and mask combo, and a crown. Um, I'm probably going to be going for the blindfold. Uh, I, I don't know why, I just, I like blindfolds. I do. Uh, let's see, some other updates that we're going to see with this is the interface update where we'll be able to customize it and it'll carry through to all of our menus so I'm looking forward to that uh, it's gonna be more streamlined as well so that'll be good we've got the uh, exalted blade and like Valkyr's talons and I'm assuming Wukong staff all of the exalted weapons like that are going to uh, be moddable separate from the uh, melee or secondary weapons that they coincide with. Kind of like the um, uh, Korra's cat is the Venari. So that's going to be great. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be great. It's going to be good to be able to mod your uh, weapons without having to build them around those exalted weapons. There's going to be a new capture a scene that's based around the sacrifice so can't wait to see that any of you who uh, collect captures and especially those of you who actually do interesting things with them. Uh, I'm sure y'all are y'all are gonna be happy with that. Um, we're gonna have a new Umbra uh, new Umbra glyphs so looking forward to that as well to have some more options there um, the uh, Oricon T set and three-day affinity booster is going to be available until July 20th so definitely get that in the code is old friend I'll leave the code in the description below as well as a link to the uh, sacrifice website so that you can see all of this information uh, yourself as well and look into it a bit more see the trailers all of that uh, we also we don't know exactly when this is gonna happen because we don't know exactly when sacrifice is being released but when it does launch there's going to be uh, some limited time twitch drops that you'll get uh, for watching a certain amount of time of uh, the uh, partners or the Warframe streams themselves, I'm assuming. Uh, we don't have a lot of information on that, but we can see a few of them. Now, of course, if you link your Twitch account to Warframe, then you'll automatically get a, a sign on it for free. So that's something to uh, look into, to go after. Um, so far, we can see a little headband that's Umbra themed. Um, a Dax style statue or something along those lines. Maybe it's Tenno armor. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think it's a statue. I think it's going to end up being like Orbiter decoration. Um, and there's something that looks like it might be a glyph, but we can only see like half of it. And who knows, there might be even more. We're going to have to wait and see until they reveal it. Which, this makes me think that they're either going to do a special stream when they drop Sacrifice, or we might be getting it um, a little bit before or around prime time. It might be a weekend thing they do with this uh, with the Twitch drops. So, something to keep an eye on. Anyway, that's about all I have for now. I know this video wasn't really super cohesive or anything like that. I just went off script here so <laughs> yeah anyway thank you all for listening i hope you all have a great night and i will talk to y'all later bye